From the studios at Bossier Parish Community College, this is Bipsy News. Hey guys, happy Friday. I'm Sarah Patterson. And I'm Danny Foots. Thanks for tuning in. Celebrate the start of the spring season and the end of the semester at Spring Fling 2018. Various events and activities sponsored by the Office of Student Life will be held during the week of April 16th through 20th. All students are invited to participate free of charge. On Monday, April 16th, 9.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., you can decorate a clay pot and plant a cactus at Hug a Cactus Day in the quad. Students will also receive an info card that contains a short but thorough description of their new ecological home patio garden edition available while supplies last. Project Celebration and the Barksdale Sark team are hosting the first annual Shine the Light on Sexual Assault 5K. The Color Fun Run will begin at 6 p.m. and will cost $25. The 5K Glow Run will begin at 7 p.m. and will cost $30. All participants will receive a t-shirt on the day of the race and color and glow sticks will be provided with your packets. Join us at the LSUS campus and let's team up to shine light on this issue. Together we can put an end to this senseless act. For more information, go to www.christfitgym.org. The Bossier Parish Community College Division of Communication and Performing Arts and the Cavalier Players announced that the 2018 Annual Spring Festival of One Act Plays will be held at 6 p.m. on Tuesday, April 17th in the Bipsy Performing Arts Theater. Check-in will be available in the theater lobby. Generally, the One Act Festival plays may contain mature subject matter or language that may not be suitable for children. For more information, contact the Bipsy Theater at 318-678-6021 or theater at bipsy.edu. A LifeShare Mobile Blood Drive will be held on Monday, April 16th and Tuesday, April 17th from 8.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. in the parking lot outside of Building F. Faculty, staff, students, and the community are invited to give the gift of life. Donors must present a valid ID at the time of donation and have plenty to eat and drink before donating. All blood donations benefit the local community blood supply. Anyone in good health who meets the height, weight, and donation eligibility requirements may give blood. The Bipsy Theater program and the Cavalier Players also announced the next show in its season, Rumors. This hilarious farce is written by Tony Award-winning American playwright Neil Simon. Performances are set for 7.30 p.m. on April 12th through 14th, 19th through 21st, and 2 p.m. on April 15th and 22nd in the Bipsy Theater in Building C. Admission is free to all Bipsy students with your valid student ID. Come join professional voice actors Joshua Passmore and James Larrabee for our very own Bipsy voice acting seminar. Topics will include the voice acting industry, steps to join the industry, the voice acting company Starman Studios, how to audition for a role, there will be an open Q&A. The seminar will be open on April 27th from 1.30 to 3.30 in Building D, Room 311. The Office of Student Success and Career Services offices invite all students, alumni, and community to attend the Graduate Career Fair. The fair will be on Wednesday, April 18th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. in Building F. You can explore college transfer options, career opportunities, and pot potential career paths. Please come prepared to meet attending companies with resumes and dress professionally. For questions about the Career Fair, contact Peggy Fuller, Dean of Student Success. LSUS was recently here at BIPSI to talk to students about career opportunities and scholarships. Our very own Ryan Reggio got to speak with the representatives from LSUS and current BIPSI students about their plans. Hi, I'm Ryan Reggio. LSUS came onto BIPSI's campus this past Wednesday to promote their programs and fields of study. Sonic also sponsored the event by giving away free corn dogs and cherry limeades. Let's see what the LSU representatives and BIPSI students had to say. We have great transfer scholarships that will really cut down on your cost. We're very convenient. We're just right over the bridge. So anyone who starts their degree here, they want to get their bachelor's, maybe even their master's, they can come to LSUS and finish that up in almost no time at all. Most of the BIPSI students we get are just phenomenal students for us. So we always look forward to seeing y'all transfer in and then us being able to give you a scholarship so you can continue that degree. LSU offers a variety of programs, so we actually have some liberal arts programs. Those can include digital arts, such as graphic design. We also have mass communications, criminal justice, history, English. Uh, we also have education programs, so if you're interested in secondary or early education, you can do that as well. Amazing business department. Our business department is actually ranked 5% within the business colleges in the U.S., and it's internationally accredited, which means you can take uh, your business degree anywhere and it'll be accepted even if not you're not in the U.S. So definitely give us a call at admissions. We're always there to help you out. After speaking with the LSUS representatives, we decided to see what Bipsy students' opinions were about LSUS. It's a great school. I'm going I'm to check them out, see, see what all they have to offer. Would you consider transferring to LSUS? I'm not sure. I have to ask about their uh, communications program to see how good they are and like if they 
if they are convenient to me, but maybe. We like to thank LSUS for coming out to Bipsy and Sonic for sponsoring the delicious and informative event. For more information about LSUS, go to lsus.edu. I'm Ryan Reggio, back to you at the news desk. Coming up after the break, Lauren Ragnar will have our weather re re forecast. And stay tuned to find out what new scam is sweeping across the Arklatex. Hey guys, I'm Lauren Wagner with the Vipsy Weather, and let's take a look at your forecast for the next few days. Today for Friday, there's a severe chance of weather like last weekend, but with bigger hail and some tornadoes lasting a little longer, so be careful, with a high of 80 and a low of 54. That rain's going to last tomorrow into, into Saturday with a 30% chance, a high of 64 and a low of 39. But to start your Sunday, we're going to have no rain with a high of 59 and a low of 38. That was a look at your forecast for the next few days. Coming up after the break, we're going to look at your current temperatures around the Arklatex, your temperatures here at Bipsy, and we'll take a look at your five-day forecast. According to the experts at the National Coffee Association, three out of four Americans drink coffee and most do so daily. To help your next cup of coffee be a good one, consider these tips. Keep your coffee fresh. Generally, buy only enough to last you a week or two and grind your beans as close to the brew time as possible. To keep coffee from tasting bitter, be careful not to grind it too fine. To keep it from going flat, don't grind it too coarse. Make sure your brewing equipment is thoroughly cleaned after each use. Rinse it with clear hot water and dry it with an absorbent towel. Don't let grounds and oil build up. Such residue can impart a bitter, rancid flavor to the coffee. Generally, you should use one to two tablespoons of ground coffee for every six ounces of water. This can be adjusted to suit individual taste preferences. Coffee should never be left on an electric burner for longer than 15 minutes because it will begin to develop a burned taste. Once you brew it, enjoy it immediately. Hey guys, welcome back to Vipsy Weather. I'm Lauren Wagner. Let's look at your current temperatures around the Arklatex. Right now around the Arklatex, it's in the low to mid 70s with 73 in Marshall, while we have 75 degrees in Nacogdoches, 71 in Texarkana, while it's 72 degrees in Ruston and in Minden, and 74 in Natchitoches. Let's look at your temperatures right here at Bipsy. Right now at Bipsy, it's cloudy and it's 75 degrees with a humidity of 81%. Your dew point is at 68 degrees with a wind coming in from the south at 15 miles per hour and your sunset tonight is at 743. Let's look at your five-day forecast. With the rain coming in today, we're having a nice cold front come through for the weekend with a high of 64 on Saturday and a high of 59 on Sunday. Our lows are gonna be in the 30s for the weekend. For your Monday to start off next week, it's gonna be a high of 70 and a low of 49. And into your midweek, it'll be in the 80, high 70s with a low of 59 on Tuesday and a low of 54 on Wednesday. That was a look at your forecast, guys. Back to you at the desk. Early voting kicks off Saturday for the April 28th municipal elections. Voting will continue through Saturday, April 21st from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily, excluding Sunday, April 15th. Several propositions are on the ballot in northwest Louisiana. In Mansfield, there's also a mayoral runoff between Thomas Jones and John Mayweather Sr. Those who want to vote early may do so in person at their parish registrar or voter's office at other designated locations. Caddo Sheriff Steve Prater is warning residents about a bank card scam involving the theft of personal information and money. In recent days, CPSO has received reports from citizens who have received text messages allegedly from their banks stating their bank card has been locked. These messages direct them to call a phone number that is provided and upon doing so, they are asked for their card information, including the PIN number, to reactivate their card. Once that information is provided, the suspects make fraudulent withdrawals, generally from ATMs located inside retail stores. These cases are currently under investigation by the Caddo Shreveport Financial Crimes Task Force. Sheriff Prater reminds citizens to never provide personal information to someone who contacts you first. All right, we're going to take another quick break. Come back and find out who the Cowboys plan on to release today. Something's not right. My first symptoms were... Constant tingling in my toes. My legs, sometimes I'll go numb. I had double vision. They said you have multiple sclerosis. Well, the beginning is the hardest time. Kind of had to get a grasp on reality. I had to adapt and change very rapidly. I had to learn how to drive with my hands. Yeah, that was interesting. I was a dancer. I don't see walking the way I walk any different than doing a dance. It just looks different. It's a different dance. 
You see me have an off day, it doesn't take away from who I am. A symptom may cause you not to be able to do that anymore. And at one point, I wasn't able to do any of those. But I would exercise every day. Since I've been cycling, that's definitely helped my walking. To make a lot of changes in my life and just adapt to it. I'm going to acknowledge its presence. I'm not going to discount it. But at the same time, I'm going to try my best to not let it stop me. It's a fantastic opportunity to be working together with a common goal of carrying MS. And sharing is the key. World-renowned arcade gamer Billy Mitchell has been dethroned after his scores were scrubbed from Twin Galaxies leaderboards in the wake of a dispute asserting that the high score record holder in games like Donkey Kong and Pac-Man used an emulator and not the original arcade cabinet, which is strictly against the rules. Mitchell first became famous for achieving the perfect score in Pac-Man in the 80s before rising to prominence in 2007, documentary King of Kong, which focused on the rivalry between Mitchell and Steve Weeb. The dispute arose from the forum poster Jeremy Young claimed that Mitchell had used an assistant program called MAME and not the original arcade machine that the regulations require for submitting high score state. The record wipes Steve Weeb for the, or the record makes wipe makes Steve Weeb the official first person for the ever to achieve the score of 1 million in Donkey Kong. Mitchell has been banned from submitting clips of any other Twin Peaks that Twin Peaks keeps track of in the future. Barring an unexpected last-minute change of heart, the Dallas Cowboys are expected to release star wide receiver Des Bryant by the business day's end. Bryant arrived at the team's headquarters in Frisco, Texas to meet with officials, including owner and general manager Jerry Jones. The plan going into the meeting was to either restructure Bryant's contract with more incentive-based payouts or release him from his team-high $16 million salary. After neither side could come to a mutual agreement on a new deal, the free agency market is about to land one of the league's best receivers in recent decades. All right, coming up after the break, Lauren's going to give us the weather recap. And stick around for schools that are closing early due to the severe weather coming up. Odds of becoming an astronaut, 1 in 13,200,000. Odds of being struck by lightning, 1 in 576,000. Odds of dating a supermodel, 1 in 88,000. Odds of bowling a perfect game, 1 in 11,500. Odds of being trapped in an elevator, 1 in 24,528. Odds of catching a ball at a major league game, 1 in 563. Odds of an injury from shaving, 1 in 6,585. Odds of tripping while texting, 1 in 10. Odds of getting cancer in your lifetime, 1 in 2 men, 1 in 3 women. It's up to us to change the odds for our generation, for the ones we love, for our future. If you don't like the odds, stand up. Stand up to cancer. Hey guys, I'm Laura Wagner with your weekend weather recap. And today for Friday, we have a severe chance of thunderstorms with a 90%. Look out for damaging hail, winds, and some tornadoes that last longer than with a high of 80 and a low of 54. Tomorrow for your Saturday, the rains will continue into the morning hours with a 30%. I have 64 and a low of 39, and we're looking at some frost, so be careful. And for your Sunday, we have a high of 59 and a low of 38. That was your weekend weather recap. I'm Lauren Wagner. Back to you guys at the desk. Red River Parish Public Schools will dismiss classes early today due to the possibility of severe weather. This morning, Superintendent Allison Hughes released the statement, We want to make sure our children are not on the highways or in harm's way when the forecast severe weather arrives in the area. We thank you for your help and understanding in the early dismissal process. All right, guys, that's all we have for you today. Make sure you stay tuned for a taste of Bipsy, where they're making homemade Caesar salad today.